Hi friends, in this video we see steady state related questions uh, asked in gate 1996. The voltage VC1, VC2 and VC3 across the capacitor in the circuiting figure and the steady state are respectively. Right? So they asked what is the voltage across VC1, this one, VC2, VC3 under steady state. So we know that under steady state under steady state condition what happens is capacitor is open circuit capacitor behaves as an open circuit and inductor behaves as a short circuit inductor is a short circuit so i redraw this circuit what is that is say under steady state condition it is 100 volt fine okay now 10 kilo ohm resistor will be as it is 10k capacitor is open circuit so it will be open so this is vc1 fine okay capacitor is open circuit next entry inductor inductor is short circuit right okay next 40 kilo ohm this is 40 kilo ohm 40 kilo ohm. Next, what happens? VC2, the capacitor is again open. So, here it is VC2, inductor is short. Then, 25 kilo ohm. It is 25 kilo ohm. And VC3 short. This is 3 microfarad this is 2 micro it is not it is short right it is open 2 micro okay 2 microfarad okay right here we see one we see one is one far it is farad only everything is in farad so it is simply farad it is 2 farad, it is 3 farad, it is 1 farad, right? So now I have to find what is VC1, right? So VC1 is, it is the voltage across capacitor C1. So if I want to find VC1, if I know this also, I can tell the same answer, right? So VC1 is nothing but voltage across 40 kilo ohm. I apply voltage divider rule. So it is 10k, it is 40k. I want to find the voltage across 40k. So voltage we will apply total voltage into voltage across particular resistor divided by total 40 plus 10 total resistance. So it is uh, 40 by 50 it is 2, in, 2 into 40 80 volt. So VC1 I found 80 volt. Okay. VC1 80 volt means uh, let us see is there any way to find the answer immediately? No. So answer option C and D are wrong because VC1 is 80. So A and B. Okay, let us see. I have to find VC2. VC2. So if I want to find VC2, so here I got it is 80 volt. Across this I have 80 volt. So I want to find VC2 and this one is VC3. So the circuit will be like this, right? If I want to find, I consider this is 80 volt, right here it is VC2 25k, it is VC3, right, so it will be like this, right, so it is a capacitor in series, I can draw, redraw like this, this is, uh, okay, right, so you don't need to, just we can find, so I want to find, in capacitor in series, I want to find voltage across this capacitor means VC2 is equal to total capacitance divided by particular capacitance into total voltage. Right? This is 2 farad, this is 3 farad. So, what is equivalent to capacitor? Capacitor is series. Series means it is 2 into 3 equivalent capacitance is 2 plus 3, 6 by 5. So I found C equivalent. So what is voltage across C2? It is 6 by 5 divided by 2. 
into total voltage E T. 40 into 8, so it is 48 volt. So VC2 is 48 volt. Similarly, VC3. Similarly, VC3 is C equivalent again 6 by 5 divided by C3. Now it is C3 is 3 farad into total voltage 80. So 2 by 5, 16. So it is 32 voltage. So VC2, VC3, VC2 48, VC3 32. So 48, 32. Which option is matching that? 48, 32. This is wrong. This is 48, 32. So option B is the right answer. Thank you.